Hello, I'm Technician Aranda Piacena with the Denver Police Department Recruiting Unit. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the screening tests that you're going to take as you proceed through the application process to become a Denver Police Officer. By now, you've already taken the written test and the video test and received a passing score from the Denver Civil Service Commission. As you go forward, the thing to remember is honesty in everything that you uh, disclose. It's going to be better to be honest and be disqualified about something rather than be dishonest or depart from the truth and have that brought up later down the road in your background investigation. The first questionnaire that you're going to do is going to be the behavioral questionnaire. This is really an assessment on how you, who you are as a person. Do you drink heavily? Do you speed? Do you anger easily? How you deal with conflict? How you deal with responsibility? There's really no way to prepare for this test. Again, it's just an assessment of who you are at this point in time. So the next items that you'll complete will be the supplemental application and the background history form. Uh, this is an area where most applicants will get disqualified because they will minimize information, they will falsify, or they'll depart from the truth. So the thing to keep in mind about this is going to be accuracy and honesty. It's going to be better to be honest and be disqualified for something rather than to be dishonest or to hide it and it come back up in your background later on. The purpose behind the supplemental application and the background history form is really to get an idea of who you are as an applicant your education, your background, your qualifications for this job, and your work history. So as you go forward and you complete these, be accurate, supply all the supporting documentation that you can, and then make sure that if you have any questions, either call the recruitment unit or the Denver Civil Service Commission. The next screening test will be the written suitability. This is a two-part test involving the California Psychological Inventory and a fill-in-the-blank assessment. The California Psychological Inventory, or the CPI, is really going to be an assessment of how you look at things, how you interact with the world, what views you hold, how you interact with people, how you view others, your anger management, your organization's organizational skills, and how you interact with society. Again, there's no real way to prepare for this test, but the best thing you can do is to be honest in how you answer these questions. So the next segment will be fill in the blank. At this point, you'll be asked to complete incomplete sentences about law enforcement topics. And the purpose behind this is really to get an idea of how you look at law enforcement in general and how you see yourself in this profession. The polygraphic exam is not something you can prepare for. Really, it's a culmination of everything that you've provided to the commission in terms of your, your behavioral questionnaire, your supplemental application, and your background history. During this polygraph exam, the polygrapher is going to ask and verify information that you've brought up. The next step is a suitability interview. This is where you'll meet with the police psychologist who will have access to your test results up to this point. This will allow them the opportunity to ask any clarifying questions about any inconsistencies that may have come up, as well as allow you to provide additional information. Next will be the background investigation. This is where you will meet with your background investigator and go over your background history form. Really, this is a great opportunity for you to add any additional information on areas of concern as well as allow the background investigator to clarify any comments or any areas on your application that may have been incomplete. This information will be included in your file, which will be presented to the police psychologist as well as the civil service commissioners. So with all your screening assessments completed, the civil service commissioners will do a preliminary file review of your application. This is where they will examine your file, all the test results up to this point, and determine if you meet the minimum qualifications of your Denver police officer and proceed to the next step of testing. We recognize that this is a rigorous process, but it allows us to pick the best people to serve Denver as its police officers. So thank you for your interest in our department and we wish you luck.